this next proposal, we have a woman, Laura Lee, proposing to a man, Mark. Well, that's, that's, that's good right there. This is a truly liberated couple, Dix. In fact, Mark actually works for Laura Lee's balloon company. Yeah, and, and the decorations for this proposal are very, very elaborate. I mean, this thing took hours and hours to set up. And who had to do all the work? <laughs> Our liberated man, Mark. But it turned out to be a labor of love. Watch. Now there's Mark, hard at work, and he's so sweet that he's agreed to do this job himself because Laura Lee said she had tickets to a concert out of town. Mark had asked me out on a date, and that was fun, but I had just come off of a really bad relationship, so I had made a New Year's resolution in 1990 not to date for a year, and I stuck by it. Now, while Mark is busy setting up, we're sneaking Laura Lee back to her own warehouse located in an industrial part of town where she's going to construct another part of the surprise. Mark started working for me part-time, and through work we got to be better friends, and one morning uh, we stopped and had breakfast in between working jobs, and he asked me out on a date, and I looked at him and I said, but you know I don't date. And he said, oh, come on, it's been a year. Let's go out on a date. And I said, yes. Now, this is actress Julie Ariscob. Now, Mark thinks he's building these balloon displays so that she can propose to her boyfriend, Charles, on a local cable show. This is great. <laughs> I can't wait to see it done, oh, it's gonna be great. Mark has no idea that he's decorating this hall for his own proposal. How long did it take you to make these up? Uh, we've been working since Monday. I never imagined it would look like this. This is so beautiful. Mark is better than anything I could have ever even dreamed up. He's affectionate. <laughs> He's... <laughs> he makes me feel more than I've ever felt. It's okay. <laughs> How long will it take you to set up? Uh, hopefully a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> we'll <get out> of here. <laughs> We're going to uh, do a couple big swans. This is a swan, believe it or not. From the safety of our TV truck, Laura Lee can uh, stay out of sight and can still hear every word that Mark says. Well, this is actually the neck and the head, and these are the feathers. It'll all come together. It's really amazing. Mark's working very hard, but he's not sure he can finish the job before Julie's boyfriend, Charles, arrives. What time it is? Does it kill everything if Charles is an hour late? Oh, no. That would make me very happy. Thank you. I'm sorry. I know. All right. Well, you just come through it, because I can see you coming. So they'll go very yeah, yeah, yeah. fast. Uh -huh. The funny part they'll about this job the is the that the directors so wanted a balloon down. drop. And I choked when that first came up, because probably the first time that Mark and I ever got into a fight was over a balloon drop. We had to do one for New Year's Eve. We had many jobs going. And the tension was so thick, you could cut it. And he looked at me. He said, I will never do another one of these. Does it, do I need to? Uh, is it clear in the doorway or is it hanging below it? It's hanging it. below it. How's that? Okay. And guess what? Not only is he doing this one, but he's going to pull the ripcord. <laughs> well, it's time now for Mark to rehearse the balloon drop. Now, Julie will enter with one of our producers standing in for her boyfriend, Charles. You have to come over here. I wanted you to come out here because I love you very much. And I want to know if you'll marry me. <laughs> <laughs> I come in from the balloons, and I come in here, and I propose to him. You don't have any ideas for me. Please give me an idea. My guys, you know, they're so cynical. <laughs> they work on this stuff all the time. I'm just the balloon guy. <laughs> come oh. on. How did you get started in this? What was your? Uh, well, I was a plumber for 10 years, and. I started dating a girl, which I love very much. She's my oh. girlfriend of four years now. Laura Lee, she's the owner of this company. Imagine this. Um, and we've been, been doing professional balloon decorating since I met her. Mark has done an absolutely beautiful job with the decorations. Now he'll go change clothes to get ready for the big moment. He just doesn't know that this is going to be his big moment. I can't wait to see the look on his face. Me too. I'll be very surprised. Mark's about to receive a phone call from Laura Lee. Now remember, he thinks she's 200 miles away at a concert. Hi, could I speak to Mark, please? Mark Bell. What? This is for you. Oh, excuse me. It's not my Mark. Hello? Hi, Mark. How did it go? Still here. It hasn't happened yet? 
What's taking so long? We're just waiting for him to come in. We pull the ripcord. No. Well, we just stopped to get a bite to eat before the concert, so I won't be able to call you till it's over. All right. Have fun. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. What? Card pulling. What? 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 Card pulling. Go. It's it is. Please pull it well. Cross your fingers, everybody. Good luck, now, kiddo. Thank you very much. As Laura Lee is about to spring her surprise, Mark is hoping that he doesn't mess up the balloon drop. Remember, cue me. I am gonna, I will do that, I promise. <laughs> Go, Mark. Go, Mark. Go, Mark. Go, Mark. Go, Mark. Go. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe it. <laughs> Surprise? Yes. I just had this weird thought today. This really weird thought. Yes, a million times over. <laughs> Let me ask you. Please ask me. Mark, I love you. Will you marry me? You better believe it. <laughs> How did you do this? You know, yesterday when you told me that I couldn't fool you. <laughs> this is unreal. It's been a lot of planning. <clears throat> Thank you for helping me so much. Jeez, I worked my butt off. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> awesome. Now, you remember when Laura Lee was working? She's got one more surprise for Mark. <sighs> That's why you couldn't go into my office. Oh. <laughs> Very hardworking Mark Bell and his new fiance, Laura Lee Roundy. Now, Laura Lee, you were so anxious to say yes there. I didn't notice. Were you able to give him a ring of any kind? I saved up and I did get him a ring. Show me a ring. Is, is your ring a yes? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Four oh. diamonds for four years. All right. Now, that, that, that covers one thing. Now, Mark, of course, you had no idea that this was going to happen. Do you have a ring in return? We spent the ring money on the balloons. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I kind of have a hunch. I don't want to tell the story. Do you have something in mind? Yeah, I sure do. Oh, no. <laughs> I wanted to thank you so much for the special surprise. I had a special surprise for you. <gasps> yeah, this is lovely. Would you do the honors and place it on the lady's finger? I'm shaking. It fits. There you go. You sure it fits. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. Best wishes. Can I make one, one little suggestion, though? When the wedding comes about, you have somebody else do that. You're crying again. You're, you're weeping again. Does she weep at all happy moments? She loves to weep. 911 kills her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Mark and Laura Lee, best wishes. Thank you.